It's no secret, Toyota ruined this Tacoma. Toyota had such a good thing going. They had a super reliable V6, and they had a four-cylinder if you wanted it. But the four-cylinder was super affordable. Let me show you this window sticker on this. It's a TRD off-road, so it's, it's not even the highest trim. $54,762. Over $54,000 for a four-cylinder Tacoma. Now, I'll give them credit here. That is a $3,000 package that I'm, I would never pay that they added on there. So Toyota would want $51,800 after destination and everything. So a ton of money. Over $51,000 for a four-cylinder Tacoma. Think about that. I never thought I'd ever see that. And for Toyota not to offer a V6, they're literally shooting themselves in the foot. I just don't understand that, considering that's what the people want. That's why these are down over 60%, 60% in the first quarter. It's crazy. Sales are down big time. And I know a lot of people blame it on it being a new model and, you know, production. It takes time to get them out to dealerships and stuff. But ah, you see them right here, and they're just sitting here. And Toyota, when they release a new truck or a new vehicle, even the new Camry has hype around it. So where's the hype? There really is none because people are excited until they do their research and they figure out, oh, this is a four-cylinder turbo? Whoa, 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 what? And it's just, it's surprising. I don't know why Toyota would do this. Like, let's just look at an SR5 right here, base model one. And I think this is the one with the panel gaps too. So let me show you this one. So yeah, 44,000. So you save a little bit, but I mean, $44,000, you know, and you're getting cloth seats, you're getting a four cylinder. I just, that's crazy from Toyota. And I, I never thought I'd ever say this, but I would go across the street to Nissan and get a Frontier before I get one of these new Tacomas. And I'm a huge Toyota enthusiast, but I think a lot of people are on the same boat because they didn't even offer a V6. It's not even an option. Let me show you this panel gap though. So you can see on this side, not much of a gap. Now let's go over here. You can definitely see the difference. I can fit my full finger in this one. Can't fit nothing in this one. So, and I've seen other videos, same deal. So quality control is not as good as it would be if it was made in Japan and then same as if it was made in America. These are made in Mexico. So you charge more for the Tacoma and you pay people less to make it. It just doesn't make any sense. I'm not getting any of the savings as a customer. I'm paying more for the truck that's built in Mexico. I just, it's crazy. And a lot of people don't like when I say that. I've I had quite a few comments that people said just because you pay more for labor doesn't mean you get better quality. And I understand that, but I, it's hard to argue that a Toyota made in Japan is not better than one made in Mexico. The Toyota made in Japan is better quality. It's going to have the panel gaps are not an issue. You go to a forerunner, try to find a panel gap that's misaligned in a forerunner. I can't. I never have. And it's because they're built in Japan. It's a whole different mindset on the factory workers. And uh, also, whenever you pay someone more, overall, you, you can and will get better quality. I'm not saying every time, but a lot of times you will. So Toyota made a huge mistake on this. And I've seen some people that buy them and they love them. And I'm glad. I, you know, I hope Toyota fixes this. I just don't know how. The Tacoma's already out, so it, it's not going nowhere. But what are they going to do? Are, are they just going to start discounting them like they are the Tundras? I mean, this dealership's discounting the Tundras nearly $7,000. And that's not like Toyota to do. So Toyota should have known they made a mistake when they went to the V6 and the Tundra. It's, it, you saw the issue. I mean, even though they're actually selling okay now, um, but with the huge recall that came out, we'll see how next quarter does. We'll see. But... V6, you know, people don't want turbos in their trucks. They really don't. And I just think reliability-wise, in the long run, where is this going to be, you know? But what else can Toyota do but discount? That's the only thing they can do at this point is to start discounting. When sales drop, 
what else can they do? The vehicle's already here. They're not going to change it. I would be so surprised. And this is one of the reasons I'm making the videos. You know, I've made a few of these videos. I'm going to keep beating the drum because I want Toyota to change. You know, I'm a huge Toyota fan and some, some of their vehicles are okay, but they're all changing, not in the best direction. Everything's getting more complicated and they had such reliable vehicles. I mean, even the, the Corolla had a 1.8 liter, super, super reliable, super simple. Now they only offer a very complicated engine. And I understand it's better fuel economy, better this and that, but uh, it's not by much. Like the V6 compared to this four cylinder turbo, not much of a difference. And whenever you calculate maintenance into that in the long run, yeah, I guarantee the V6 is gonna be cheaper to maintain and own in the long run than this four cylinder turbo will be. So I just don't know why Toyota, such a good thing going, why? I would love to hear the answer to that question. And now we have their other issue, their Tundras. Same situation. It's almost like they did this a few years. So they, they already know what's going to happen to these because here it is. They switched it up. They went to a V6 turbo and people don't want them. They have huge recalls. Over 100,000 possible Toyota products are going to need a new engine. So that's just not like Toyota, over 100,000. I will give them credit, at least they're doing something. But to be honest, they're doing something because it was a safety recall. They didn't have a choice. Once it's a safety recall, there really is no choice. They have to fix it. I just really hope that doesn't happen to these Tacomas. And unfortunately, the path it's going, it's, it, these are the Tacoma's bigger brothers. And literally, it's engine problem after engine problem after engine problem ever since they switched to a turbo. So I really hope that that does not happen to these Tacomas, but it kinda is what happens when you go to turbos. I mean, it's, they burn oil, they do this, they do that. It's just another thing to go wrong for what? For an extra two miles per gallon? It's not worth it at the end of the day. And I, whenever you actually drive these, it's hard to even get that good fuel economy because if you hit on the gas at all, if you have a heavy foot at all, you're gonna be getting worse fuel economy than you would if you had a V6. So guys, leave a comment. Let me know what you think about these new Tacomas. Do you think sales are gonna get better? Let me know.